Hi, Mayor Jason Salento here, and I'm here today to address you with updates about redevelopment, specifically regarding the Denelm Stations project at the former site of the Art Color Printing Factory. My monthly messages from the mayor, my reports in the quarterly Denelm Report, bi-weekly updates at council meetings, and my continuous postings on social media are not the only means of communications I could be providing the public. So, to enhance my communications with you, I will now supplement my usual messages with regular video updates and what I will call Danellan Updates with Mayor Salento, where I will address the happenings around town and Borough Hall. I will also use this platform to update residents and business owners on redevelopment efforts, meet with the business community, as well as bring on council members and department heads from time to time to discuss updates from various areas of our municipal government. The purpose of this avenue of communication will be to educate and connect to the public with topics of the day here in Denellen. In addition, when the time comes, I will look forward to adding in-person roundtables with the mayor. Although I will be making these additional efforts with the public, I do ask that the public not substitute these videos for council meetings, where vital council discussion and decision making occurs. Your input and participation in council meetings is an important part of our municipal government, so I encourage you to participate in them. Now, before we begin the updates on the Denellen Stations project, I would like to briefly discuss with you the history of redevelopment in Denellen, specifically the Art Color site. Our borough's redevelopment efforts began in 2001 when the Denellen Mayor and Borough Council authorized the Denellen Planning Board to conduct a preliminary investigation as to whether the study area, which is Route 28 from Middlesex to the Plainfield borders and one block east and west on both sides, qualified as an area in need of redevelopment. This resulted in a report on a study to determine the qualification of the Denellen Downtown Redevelopment Study Area as a redevelopment area, which was presented to the Denellen Planning Board and adopted by resolution on April 28, 2003. The report and resolution were forwarded to the Mayor and Denellen Borough Council, which accepted it and by resolution dated May 5, 2003, and designated the subject area as in need of redevelopment. Borough attorneys, engineers, and planners in consultation with the mayor and council created the Denellen Downtown Redevelopment Plan Phase 1 that was adopted by ordinance in July 2004 and periodically updated. This document is the basic zoning and land use blueprint for redevelopment and it designated three main sites. Site number one, which is the train station north, site number two, which is train station south, and site number three, which is the 19 acres between the train tracks and Columbia Park, which we commonly know as the Art Color Complex. In late 2004, the owners of the Art Color Complex, once the major site of the printing plant that employed hundreds of workers, made it known that they wanted to turn the site that was now used mostly for warehouses and light industry into a more attractive mixed-use housing retail space. So by a request for proposal, RFPs, uh, process, the redevelopment agency received and reviewed six proposals for redevelopment from major developers, and the proposals considered improvements to all three sites. On February 20, 2006, the council designated Kaplan Companies as the redeveloper. A condition of the designation was that an agreement between the borough and Kaplan companies be arrived at within a certain time. When that did not occur, Kaplan was de-designated as of January 2007 and Baker Residential was selected as the redeveloper. Unfortunately, before the borough and Baker could arrive at a mutually accepted agreement, the financial meltdown of 2007-2008 occurred and the formal redevelopment activities were put on hold at the request of the redeveloper. As the economy slowly began to recover and the Art Color Complex owners again expressed an interest in developing the sites, this time they would do so in partnership with established builders. So negotiations ensued and on July 13, 2017, 
The mayor and Donnellan Borough Council, by resolution, entered into agreement with Brudner Redevelopment Partners Urban Renewal, LLC, to place 130 townhouses and 252 luxury apartments, 58 of which will be designated as affordable housing. There will also be a train station style retail center facing South Washington Avenue. Regarding the retail space, we have been in constant conversation with the developer about the borough's expectation to attract and retain quality businesses for their commercial space. The development of the art color complex will be done by two companies. K. Havanian will build the townhouses and Prism will build the apartments and retail space. Both companies have many years of experience in building redevelopment sites throughout New Jersey and surrounding states. Truth be told, we had hoped that the project would have broken ground in the summer of 2020, and all indications pointed to the fact that it would. Unfortunately, COVID-19 hit us early on in March of last year, and everything again slowed down or was significantly delayed. For example, the developer was unable to obtain needed quantities of fill. This helps explain why the project has had the appearance of being stalled, though I assure you that much work was going on behind the scenes such as planning and engineering for the new force main and rebuild of the pumping station off North Washington Avenue. Likewise, most states and county offices were closed and their staff was working remotely. This caused dis disruption in workflow and further delayed the interlocal agreements such as the traffic light at the intersection of New Market Road and South Washington Avenue that will be installed. We worked actively with all multi-stakeholders to ensure the project moved forward. But again, things were slowed down because all levels of government had to adjust to COVID-19. In addition, there has been rumor on the street that the project is stalled currently due to contamination. This information is false. The site was tested for contamination any and all contamination that was discovered has been environmentally remediated. This report, along with a traffic study report and a school age student impact study can be found on our redevelopment section of our website. In addition, you may find a redevelopment fact sheet on the same page of our website that may answer any and all questions you have. It has been placed there since 2018 and has been frequently updated and is current to date. The most recent information for the Dinellan Station project is that work is estimated to begin the spring of this year, with the force main being constructed along North Washington Avenue. Residents and business owners will be directly notified by the developer about when this construction will begin, and alternate means of parking, pedestrian traffic, and vehicle traffic will be addressed with the public prior to any work commencing. On-site work should follow shortly after the force main begins. So long story short, you will begin seeing Dinellan Station start construction this year. The timeline is that the project will take two to three years to be fully completed. The borough will begin to see the benefits of the development economically based on the construction beginning not only through added revenue but through the revitalization of our downtown. The mayor and borough council will seek means to use these funds to stabilize taxes and make the needed improvements throughout the town. I have been working with our borough administrator to revise our redevelopment section of the website. We plan to make the landing page for redevelopment be more general redevelopment information and create separate tabs for each redevelopment project in Dunellen that provides images and brief descriptions of each project. Finally, in November 2020, I introduced to the community DMR Architects, the planning firm Dinellan brought on as municipal planners and has helped us develop a community visual preference survey. I have always believed in a shared vision for the development of our downtown, and this survey was created to better understand the community's preferences as we continue to welcome the redevelopment of Dinellan's downtown. We had over 435 respondents for the survey, which we believe gives us sufficient data from our constituency and their desires for our downtown. As part of the process, we will host a virtual public engagement session on February 25th of this year at 7 p.m. 
to present the findings of the survey. Information on joining this public engagement session is available on our borough website. As mayor, I have been on meetings regarding the Dinellan Stations project and I frequently report updates to the council at our council meetings. These reports to the council can be found in our meeting minutes on our website, video recordings of the council meetings, as well as being posted onto my mayor's Facebook page, at Mayor Jason F. Salento. Again, I implore residents to join us at these meetings and make use of all platforms we have available to provide you information. The Borough Council and I make every effort to be transparent as possible. So I ask that you please reach out to us. Until next time, please be well and stay safe.